Hi fellow amateur radio friends, uh, this is ON7OFF here in uh, Belgium and uh, today I want to make a brief video so I'm gonna try to keep it within uh, the uh, five minute mark. Uh, basically what I want to show you today is how you can eventually filter out a lot of noise when you're listening to somewhere on some station and you got uh, arf a lot of QRM whether it has to do with splatter or you have a carrier or you have some kind of noise uh, and it's really annoying you can actually filter out everything perfectly with uh, the TT software so that's why the Hermes Light and the Anon radios are very popular these days because the filtering capabilities of the TT software is absolutely insane now uh, as you can see I turned on my radio and I'm on an 80 meter and uh, let's hope that we can find some station where there is some QRM I'm currently listening to one station and you can see that there is a serious carrier or noise uh, that is uh, ag together with the uh, with the signal so let me unmute and uh, first of all the options or the filter that we are going to explain today is not going to be the ANF which is actually the carrier filter so it's going to automatically notch specific carriers okay so but we are going to talk about the MNF which is the uh, multi-tracking notch filter you can have as many multi-tracking notch filters as you want and I'll explain you in a second how you can deal with it so let me unmute and uh, show you how it sounds when you are listening to a station with some cure up so you can hear the noise of that uh, I don't know some kind of a carrier let me filter out so how do you start first of all you will have to turn on the M and F button okay and as you can see there is no filtering at the moment enabled so the next thing you're gonna do is click here on plus M and F which is going to start a new multi tracking notch filter now you see that there is a line appearing and when you hover over it with your mouse you can see that eventually it becomes green this is where you can actually um, ch change the location of that particular filter so uh, first of all if you grab it in the middle it's gonna slide to the left or to the right or if you try to grab it right at the edges you are able to actually uh, you know increase and you can see uh, on the uh, waterfall that there is a whole black screen here so it's filtering out now you might not have this as a result first of all so let me first explain you one more thing to get this particular uh, filtering capability out of the MNF filter you right click here and it will automatically bring you to the notch filter and please uh, check that the auto increase width and also the visual approximation of notch are both enabled okay so let me just uh, click on OK and we're back and let me listen and show you the difference with and without the filter now you can uh, sometimes it's a little bit tricky to actually make it smaller or bigger uh, it's on the right hand side that you need to grab it uh, it doesn't work on the left side as far oh yeah it works on the left side too but uh, I thought it was only on the right side but basically when you go to the edges and you still have uh, the uh, notch filter in green that's where you can actually uh, change it there's another possibility is just when you hover over it and it becomes green is right clicking it and if you right click it you can also uh, specify specific frequency um, widths so and you can see it right here let me listen again and show you how it sounds with and without the filter okay so basically another option that is uh, quite interesting is to use multiple of these uh, notch filters uh, so 
uh, if you have, for example, agent stations that are making a lot of QRM and they're making and creating splatter, then you can just click on the plus M and F again and you can create another one, position it where you have the noise and eventually resize it and try to um, filter out the noise that you're confronted with. And as you can see, it really filters out everything completely. So if you want to disable the filter, uh, you can just right, uh, click on MNF to disable it. But uh, a, a very good practice is just clicking uh, or going hovering over the filter, clicking on the right side and deleting the different filters. So this will help you to start again from scratch the next time you want to use the MNF filter. I hope this has been useful. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to have more of these kind of videos. I would be very pleased to help you out. Maybe give some suggestions of uh, uh, certain things that you would like to discuss. Uh, and one little bonus for this video, I know that I'm already one minute over my uh, five minute uh, 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 time frame. If you click here with the right hand mouse, you can also enable and disable quite a lot of things. So you can enable and disable the uh, CFC, you can enable, disable the fill, as you can see right here. You can enable and disable also the information, uh, this information here, so if you right click here, this is where when I'm hovering with the mouse, you have the information. If you disable it, you won't have the information anymore when you hover over the uh, uh, pen adapter and the waterfall. Um, now, there are two peak, same story, uh, but they are actually glued to each other. So if you change it here, you will also automatically change it here. So there is no difference. Okay, I hope this has been useful. 70 trees and see you again on the air, guys. This is Oscar November 7, Oscar Foxtrot Foxtrot signing off.